Hi, it's Mark Shawrock. I'm going to show you how to set up your SV9100 for an auto attendant. Just kind of show you some basic options here. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do, I want you to take a screenshot of this right here. These are the steps we're going to be going through as we set this up. What I want you to do is you're going to use the uh, PC Pro for your system. I have mine here. You're going to connect to your system and then download all your programming. I'm not going to do that on mine. I'm going to use mine offline. It's just for demo purposes. There's some programs. Those programs I showed you earlier, we're going to step through those and kind of go step by step. And I'm going to give you reasons why you're doing different things. So the options are we can set up our outside lines to, of course, ring to extensions, but we can send them to an auto attendant in day mode or night mode or just night mode, however you want, want to do it. And uh, hopefully by watching this video, you'll kind of figure out that out, uh, what's the best situation for you. First thing we're going to do, of course we've connected, when you've downloaded everything, we're going to go to 2205. 2205. 2205 is incoming call services and we have incoming trunk ring group assignment. So what we're saying here is these are our outside lines, our different lines, however many you have. Um, I have probably like three or four in my system right now. So these are my actual outside lines, trunk one, two, three, and four. And I have my modes, mode one and mode two. Now NEC has the capability of having, you can switch up to eight different ring modes, okay? Most people just have one and two. Mode one would be the light off, and that would be normal ring mode. And then mode two would be night mode. And that's when the light is on on your night mode light button. And we can redirect calls the outside trunk to different ring groups here. Now by default, if you go to 2204, this one represents, I'm putting in grid mode, this one right here, and all these extensions ring. So incoming ring group one here says we've had these extensions in that, that this one ring group right here that represents this one right here so trunk one would ring extensions 1102 3 11 11 11 16 11 17 11 18 and 11 19 but we want to direct calls to the auto attendant depending upon when you want to do that if it's in mode one you would just uh, the default ring group is 102 to send it to the auto attendant. So if I'm doing this right here, I'm sending in mode one, which would be day mode, the toggle switch light is off. It would send calls to the auto attendant. And then mode two, it would send calls also to the auto attendant. Maybe I only want it during the day. Okay, well, I could just leave it. Mode one rings all those phones that were in that ring group down here. But then when I put it in night mode, it's going to go to auto attendant and we'll give out a closed greeting on that. So uh, we'd apply that in upload. Again, we have just, um, I'm going to go ahead and assign this to ring. Basically, I'm going to assign it to go to my auto attendant 24 7, okay? So I'm going to say 24 7 first three trunks go to auto attendant day and night mode and maybe I only want maybe my fourth uh, trunk is maybe something special maybe my text calls back door number and I don't want it to go I want to ring extensions during the day but only at night mode would go to a different greeting so hopefully that makes sense to you I'm going to apply that and then, so I've got my trunks routing to my auto attendant, right? Now I'm going to go to my actual auto attendant settings. Kind of go through a few things. So I'm going to go to 4707. So I'm going to go to in mail, in mail uh, routing mailbox options. This isn't necessary to go here, but I'm just kind of showing you that we're saying routing box, uh, routing mailbox 01 is a call routing mailbox and two is a call, call routing mailbox. You can actually change these up to different things if you wanted to, but just so you know, 
if for some reason you needed more than the eight, this is how you change them right here. But by default, you're not going to have to change anything. Just let you know this is where it's at. So then go to 4708. And those are those call rounding boxes from 4709, I mean from 4707, that were right here. That's these numbers right here. So we have uh, 0 through whatever, 32. And we're just going to use uh, 1 and 2. And if you remember, we had decided that we're going to have uh, all our trunks going to the auto attendant in day mode and night mode. So what you can do, if you're going to use two different, I mean my options during the day are going to be slightly different than my options at night. So it's best to keep the routing numbers in these dial action tables the same to kind of help you in your mind how you're setting this up. So a dial action table is the actual digits that you press to have an action. So if option one is to go to sales, it's going to have a dial action table. That would be uh, here in a little bit. We're going to go to the actual dial action table. So we're going to, we're going to assign routing group 1 to 01, but we're going to put 02 to 2, just to keep it simple. And that way, I'll show you here a little bit down the video, we'll have different options for different action tables at different times. So we're going to apply that, and then we're going to go to 4713. <clears throat> so those action tables, dial action table 1, and then there's dial action table 2. So what do we have here? Let me just pull it over for you so you can see real easy. These are the dialing digits. <clears throat> we have just like a dial pad. 1 through 0, star, pound, or hashtag, or whatever you want to call it, and the timeout. <clears throat> By default, these X's represent the digits that can be dialed. If you have modified your system from three digits to four digits, then you have to have a fourth X here. What we're saying is, when a call comes in, extensions that start with ones can be dialed, right? But it's actually saying only extensions can be, only four digits can be dialed. You can't do anything else. You can't press a one. On the 9100, you have an option here that basically says if I dial four digits or anything, I can be transferred unscreened. You want to use the unscreened transfer, not the transfer, supervised transfer, just unscreened transfer. It means the system dials the extension number and releases the call and the system takes place. Um, if the phone's call forwarded, it'll forward. If it's not, it'll recall back to here if no one answers it. So we're just going to use unscreened transfer. And what this is saying is if you dial four to any extension number, just dial it. But maybe I want option one to go to um, another menu. I can go go to uh, an, another mailbox, routing mailbox, say 03. There, uh, maybe I want to do a unscreen transfer to a particular extension. I can just put that extension in there. Put 1102. And I can put maybe 1102's accounting manager. Um, I could do an unscreen transfer to a virtual extension. Let's say I've got a weird number in there, 3666, that goes to um, a button on a phone. Um, there's just no telling what you can do there. You can make this as, go as big as you want. Um, now, if the operator, you can, if it says it's undefined, it means it's not available. So you could put in um, that you want to transfer it to extension, let's say, 11, 1100 is the operator. Um, what we have down here is this is just saying that a, a, a user, a subscriber, can press star, dial a mailbox, and go to the person's greeting and leave a message. And then uh, a login, the pound is a login. We're saying if I press pound and enter three digits, then I will log into my mailbox and be prompted to put in my security code. Now, if I, again, if I've got four digits, I have to have four X's down here or it won't work. So I've got four digit extensions. I've got to have four X's here. Uh, if I if I have three digit, then they all have to be the same, three X's down here. Now, when you time out, I always make my timeouts go to hang up. 
So if you don't do something in the amount of time, we're just going to hang up on the phone call. This is especially important for mailboxes that are uh, sub mailboxes that you get into deeper. That way you don't get in a loop. The call doesn't stay online and keep going and tying up um, mailboxes or the uh, the ports that answer the phone system or answer the calls. So important to put the time out on there. Now if this was a sub menu, maybe I want to go back to a different menu. Maybe this is a different uh, deeper into the uh, a greeting. I might say, hey, route back if, on a timeout. Route back to the main ex main dial action table there. Okay. Let's go put a hang up. So we've just defined our dial action table one, and then we would go to two for the night mode and do two here. So that's going back to um, our forty seven oh eight where we put the two here that's the same two that is right here okay if you, if you decided to use that once we've done that we can go to our 4711 our dial action table options so once we're here we're just saying that dial action table one we're going to assign it to routing mailbox one by default it is and then at um, answer table two for night mode we want to go to routing box two that way it's nice and simple all the twos are together all the ones together hopefully you're following if there is a next ac action here you can put that in I really never use it but occasionally um, so we've assigned our ac answer table from 4713 to our routing mailboxes that were in 4708. So we've tied those all together now. Once we've done that, we're going to go to 4712. And this is our schedule. Um, by default, if nothing is scheduled, if a time is not defined, the routing mailbox one will play. So when you're setting your stuff up, sometimes it's best to have your routing mailbox one as the closed 24 hour uh, message that plays and then have your two as the one that plays when you're actually open so if i was going to do this in a uh, typical system i'd use a date uh, range of days i'd make my answer mailbox two and i would play it since i'm using days of range of days i'm going to use the range where it starts on uh, Monday ends at Friday and I'll have my business hours that I, I open I open at 8 a.m. and I close at 5 p.m. and I have to use military time so now whatever my dialect my routing box to the way it's recorded and the way it's scheduled it will play Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. And anything that's not scheduled here will, outside those hours, by default, dial action table 1 will play. Let's say, um, let's say there's a holiday. I could define a particular date and go for a date and schedule um, a date which is right down here. I could put in Christmas, you know, put in uh, 12, 25, and I want to put times I could, but it'll play at 24 7. I'm going to start there, and if you wait, up. any C's work, I would just do, um, I would do 2359. They seem to like that. Oh, they're wrong. 59 and then apply that so I've got Christmas scheduled to uh, play a, the close greeting by defining my rattle box right here and then I would go let's get it back over I'd go that put one there so one's my default closed message and I would record that through the phone through the system administrator 
and when you're recording it and you do the voicemail key dial 72 through the admin password if you need it you go to the um, mailboxes that are the I'm trying to remember what the name of it is it's the um, oh let me go look at the phone here real quick it is down on seven hit voicemail you have down no seven two welcome to the system oh, administrator it's the instruction mailbox I knew that so I would press the instruction mailbox dial zero zero one it has to be three digits and I would record my closed greeting for my open greeting again uh, you have to put three digits in, you dial 72, you hit voicemail button, dial 72, instructional mailbox, it'll ask you for the number, mailbox number, put in three digits, 002, and record the greeting. And that should be about it. Now, um, you need a button to actually toggle the night mode on and off if you're going to use the night mode. If you're just going to use it, let's say, during the day, uh, we're going to go back to this, maybe the day is... Uh, you're just going to use it at night time. Let me get rid of this. If you're just going to use it at night, you have to put in zeros. You don't do it wrong, it doesn't like it. So maybe you're just going to use the auto tendon at night. Um, you can just put the, the one here and play it 24-7 if you want. That's your, your closed greeting. And just go ahead and set this up to where it plays um, Sunday through Saturday. Or Sunday, yeah, not Sunday through Saturday. And you're just going to play it 24-7. And again, it's just the zero zero running out of screen. And then um, I just do the twenty three fifty nine. Apply that. So now we have just our one greeting, close greeting, playing Sunday through Saturday, twenty four seven. And then we can go to a switch. And what we're going to do is. Uh, under the night mode. Let's see, um, where's that button at? I think it's under 12. 12. I can't remember where it's at exactly. It is right here. Oh, yeah, there it is. I like, I like grid viewed on this one. So I'm just going to say, um, for my night service, I'm gonna to toggle between uh, one and two because you can just you can have multiple ones again. But if I'm going between mode one and mode two, I'm gonna turn the light on. So when I push that button, the light will come on. If you don't have that on, the light will not come on. It drives you crazy. And then you have to go to a phone and assign the button to a phone. So find it your phone. Go to 1507. Find a function key you want to put it on. For Grinzies, we'll just put it on 12. Go over here and it's a 09. And we want to do between whatever is in 1208, which we assigned earlier just a minute ago. Hit OK. And apply that. You'll have a zero down here. You know you've got it right. Uh, if you put the one in there, it, it just may just turn it off and not back on. This is the one I always use, the zero. So now you can turn it on and off when you need it. That's pretty much it. Um, it's a little different. You have to kind of experiment with it. Again, you can just set it up where a single trunk answers that you're playing with. Maybe a backdoor number you can call into it underneath the uh, uh, 2205. You can pick a line that you're not using. You maybe you don't want lines one, two, and three to answer, but you can set up line four and call it directly, and you can play with it to answer immediately during day or use the night mode button. All right, that's a lot of information, but hopefully it'll help you. If you have any questions, just email us at the help desk. That's helpdesk at shopper.com, S-H-O-T-R-O-K.com.